this is the Xbox Series X. Oh my god, I look as tired as I feel. <laughs> to, to cut a long story short, on the day of Xbox pre-orders, I was struggling to get one. And then, magically, it allowed me to order one at one store. It's like 40 minutes away from where I live. Hopefully I can get some coffee. I don't, this is a horrible angle for me. <clears throat> All right, well, that was my road trip. <laughs> Now with this random Best Buy. I will say that I'm I'm actually very excited for this. I've been looking forward to both of these consoles very much. Xbox as much as PlayStation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to convince myself. Hey, can I help you? Yeah, hi, I'm just here to pick up my Xbox. Yeah, no worries. What was the name and the number? Give it to me already. Give it to me now. Okay. I want it. Oh my god, okay. I want for beat em ups. Give me my Xbox. All right, sorry. I need you to settle down, please. I'm All right, not... you're useless. Can I see a manager, please? Yes, I can get you. I want to see a manager now. That was actually really easy. Can you. That, what? This is horrible. Now I'm gonna go uh, home. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I don't know what I was gonna say. All right. <laughs> out of my way. I got the new Xbox. You know, I was driving home and then I realized I forgot to get any games. But then I remembered that it has no games, so... <laughs> no, I did actually uh, stop. I did forget, so I had to stop and grab some uh, games. All right, but I figured we could open this together. I got two little, I got two little tabs. Okay, I'm very excited. I am unboxing my first console of next gen. Wow, that's a really cool. Hold on, wait, hold on. Sorry, let me let me get let me get a shot of that. I have never opened a console and it looked like this. That is actually really awesome. You open the box and it's right there, ready for you to lift out. This is relatively light. It's really not that big. That's what she said. <laughs> I get the PlayStation in a couple of days, but everything I've seen of it is massive. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm giving away an Xbox Series X, so uh, like the video, subscribe, all of that, and then uh, go follow me on Twitch because I'm, I'm giving it away on Twitch, so you'll, you'll have to watch there too. Oh, that's cute. It says hello from Seattle on the bottom of the base. I didn't know that. Microsoft headquarters is in Seattle. For anyone who didn't know. All right, you ready? You ready for the big moment? Wow. Oh my God. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm holding next gen. <laughs> if only there were gate. <laughs> I like that the top has like green in it. Man, I'm so I'm so impressed by some plastic. Yeah, it's about two and a half game cubes. <laughs> TV cord, power cord. Oh yeah, the, the controller. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so uh, that'll be Kim's player two. <laughs> And thankfully, I can still sync up this Elite to my new console. I am going to uh, hook this bad boy up. Ah, is it even gonna fit? And it literally won't fit in there. And I thought it would look dumb sitting back here, but you know what? That's actually kind of cute. Yeah, I don't hate that. You got this black box, you got this black box, you got this black box, but it kind of works. The thing, the thing is, I'm kind of annoyed in a way it doesn't fit in here, because I don't, I don't really need this anymore. Don't be broken. Don't be broken. I don't know, I always worry when I buy a, a new console. It wants me to set up with the Xbox app, which works for me, actually. The only problem is the Xbox app never wants to work for me. Like right now, it's just stuck. Yeah, I think the Xbox app is is down. I, it's been 10 minutes now. All right, so I got my Elite on the console, failed to sign me in. So now it says try again. Okay. Oh. It's now saying that it's done. So to try again on the phone. Hmm, it won't, it won't, it won't do it. I don't, I don't really know what to do here. Okay, I guess it just, I'll continue on the, now, now I'm just stuck with it looping around and so I have fiber internet, by the way. I think I got a broken one. <laughs> Are you, are you just gonna loop all day? I can't do anything. It's just looping in a circle. All right, I've been waiting about 10 minutes now. So, um, 
I'm gonna turn it off and on again and hope for the best. Turn it back on again. Next, you'll sign in with a Microsoft account. Oh my God. I, I obviously can't have a, a YouTube video of me sat here waiting for 20 minutes. So like this is gonna get edited down and you're, and you're not gonna get the, the full weight of how long I have been trying to set this up, but it's been 20 minutes now. I'm worried that I'm gonna break it. My only option is to go next, which brings us to the spinny, Oh my God. All right, well, let's, uh, let's sign in. This is the Xbox Series X. I've been playing this thing for the last day and a half, and I have a lot to say. I've experienced a lot, both good and bad. First, I do want to talk about what the heck happened to me when I was trying to turn the thing on. As it turns out, I wasn't alone. The Xbox Series X needs to connect to the internet the first time you boot it up or it just won't work. Ever. It's a little bit of an issue. <laughs> what happened with me and a lot of other people trying to connect their Xboxes on day one, the servers went down. Of course they did. And because the consoles needed to connect, oh, we all just got stuck with that spinny logo of death. But eventually those servers came back online and I got to start playing my Xbox Series X. Well, that's the intro out of the way. A great job if I don't say so myself. Where do I go from here? Maybe I should talk about the fact that it kind of looks like a fridge. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll do that. So it kind of looks like a fridge. <laughs> you know though, I like it. I, I actually like it a lot. All right, let's go hook this bad boy back up and go over some really cool specifics. Here's the fun stuff. <laughs> Did you see that? I unplugged the Xbox, moved it in here. I just turned it on and immediately I'm at the home screen. The best part is if I had had Assassin's Creed Valhalla open and I moved it in here, I could have quick resumed my game even after unplugging it and moving it into the other room. First, let's talk about load times. The Xbox Series X has an SSD drive, which is fast. I've been... All I managed to say between hitting continue and getting in the game was that. Comparing that to the Xbox One X, I timed the initial load screen at one minute and 40 seconds. I actually timed this earlier at 29 seconds, but for some reason it was even faster then. <laughs> also, if we were to fast travel to another spot in the world, it's almost instant. It's just a few seconds. as opposed to on the One X, it took about 40 seconds to do that. Next is uh, visuals and frame rates. The Series X is able to do 120 FPS and it just obviously, it just looks nice. Something I do need to interject here is whatever setup you have at home, if you went out and bought the Series X and put it in, into the same setup, the same monitor, whatever, of course you're gonna see these improvements. You're gonna see the visual improvements, the clarity improvements, the load times, the frame frame rates being a big one, but depending on what monitor or display you're using, you could see even better results. In my opinion, with the TV I have, which is an LG CX OLED TV, it's almost like I'm taking another leap, another console generation leap into the future, just changing my display. And there's two big reasons for that. OLED and the fact that this TV can do 120 Hertz. I know a lot of people who watch me might not really care about Hertz or even understand them. So um, let me take you to Nerdy Wood who can explain it better. Hi, I'm Dowl. Uh, I'm Reverse Wood. I'm the nerdy one that actually cares about specific hardware. So the difference between- Do I do that voice the whole time? So the difference between Hertz and FPS is like this. When it comes to Hertz, forget about the console because Hertz come from your monitor or your display. So your monitor or your display's refresh rate is measured in a frequency which is Hertz. It's the number of times per second your monitor can redraw a screen. So a monitor with a refresh rate of 60 Hertz, for example, 
example, will redraw the image on the screen 60 times every second. Does that mean that your frame rate is limited by your refresh rate? No. Those are two different things. The FPS is how many frames your gaming computer, so the Xbox in this case, is producing or drawing. If your FPS is higher than your refresh rate, your monitor or your TV will not be able to display all of the frames your Xbox is producing. Think of it like this for an example. If I was standing right in front of you in real life and I was waving at you and you kept your eyes open the whole time, you'd see the whole thing. But if you kept blinking like this, you're gonna miss frames here and there. Sure, your brain's filling in the gaps, but you're not going to see them, you're gonna miss them. So think of it like your Xbox is waving at your monitor at 120 frames, but your monitor is sat there blinking at 60 hertz and it's missing every other frame, so you're not seeing it. But as soon as you get your monitor to open its friggin' eyes up and accept every single frame that's being shown to it, that's when you really see how smooth this gameplay can get. All right, nerdy word, that was, that was exhausting. And I gotta tell you, it, it's so incredibly smooth. <laughs> a weird uh, comparison, which almost seems to have a, a negative sting on it, which I don't quite understand, is a lot of people are comparing the Series X to just a high-end PC. Just. Why? Why the just? Like everyone has or can afford a high-end PC. I have a high-end PC. <laughs> and I'm seeing visuals, frame rates, clarity, akin to my very expensive PC for only $500. You can spend more than $500 just buying a new graphics card for your high-end PC. Or you can get the whole kit and caboodle, start buying downloading games, and you're on your way. And yeah, a lot of people have been quick to mention that the Xbox doesn't come with any games. Despite Halo being plastered right on the back, that didn't happen. Do you get any exclusive games when you buy those thousand dollar graphics cards for your PCs? And I know that consoles and PCs are very different things. At the same time, are they that different anymore? You know, I always have people tell me that I should wait to buy consoles, but I've always bought consoles on launch day and I haven't had one catch on fire yet. talk about what there is to play right now. There is still a lot you can play on this console on the first day of having it. To start with, you have a selection of brand new titles releasing from third-party publishers like Yakuza, Like a Dragon. You also have some Ubisoft games, Valhalla and Watch Dogs Legion. But on top of anything, you might go out and buy brand new at GameStop right now. There is a ton you can play on Xbox using Game Pass. But you of course also have backwards compat, which for me means a lot of games. And when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it's all preference, really. I can't give you the answer of should you buy a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X, because it depends on your situation. The Xbox Series X is a powerful, sleek, fast, and very impressive console with a huge library of games you can play day one and the promise of many exclusive games coming down the road. In a way, for me, all three of the main consoles live and breathe in their own ecosystem. I have my PlayStation 5 for those big awesome exclusives. I have my Xbox Series X for Game Pass and all those third party releases and the promise that hopefully a new Gears is coming down the line. And then I have my Switch for literally everything else when I wanna play up at night in bed or play one of those incredible first party Nintendo games. I couldn't imagine not having a any of these consoles at any point. Hey, I hope you like this video again. Come check me out on Twitch. I'll be giving away an Xbox Series X in my next stream where I'll be playing the Xbox Series X, also PlayStation 5 playing some Demon Souls. There's some fun stuff happening over there and you're missing out on all of it. I'd appreciate it if you stopped by. Subscribe and I'll bye.